got everything working. New computer. Completely new setup. So that was a fun pain in the ass. <laughs> Let's see here. Just getting on a bunch of tables. Some twenty and L's. Oh, it is. It's Saturday. <laughs> mm-hmm. Literally, it's the only way I would know. All right. <clears throat> there is a short bit that was missed on this one, but I deleted it because I had some problems with the uh, the output. So. The start is not exactly right, but it's right enough. 2440. We'll start in a little deficit. Twenties, we don't need as many fifties. Did you happen to notice if the moon was pink? Uh, Apparently, it's a pink full moon. I mean, it didn't really catch my eye. I imagine if it was pink, it would have. Right. They always do that shit like that. The only <coughs> the only one that ever like really looks like anything is the blood moon thing. Then it looks right, because it's reflecting off fucking Mars. But this, you know, pink moon, blue moon is the one that always blows my mind. It's like, that is not fucking blue. That's a fucking moon. Hmm. Yeah, if he doesn't call, I can't call. but Cheddar is going to this three barrel like quite often so he may bet big ones here but I think we get to the river for free so based on the price we get no he just goes with the small bet I think we're gonna leave this one yeah I mean I pick up the open ender it should go check check quite often Ace on the river sucks. That's the worst card. Because as much as he should fold if I jam, he won't. Because he hit the ace. 
That's a really shitty card. I bet I could have won this with a bluff without that ace out there. That's that's a really unfortunate card. It's it's really just any card queen or higher, and I can jam this river and win this pot. There's just no. Yeah. Well, maybe not. He actually had aces. That's crazy. The fuck did the other guy have? Ace queen. The fuck are you even calling for? That's hilarious. same size it's fine First aces. I mean, there's a lot of draws here, so I'm gonna go ahead and go for it. He can have some king tens, but I think there just should be more ten jacks than anything. It's a pretty good flop for aces. And I'm gonna bet small because I want it to look like I'm just formulaic. That's a nice three barrel right there. Traffic makes a small raise. I'm going to re-raise because he should just have a lot of draws. It looks like he's running hot. Well, now that I nutted it, I'm going to check it back. I don't think there's much here for him to have unless he had like 8-3 and ran out the full. Well, that was easy. Quad 8s. That's hilarious. He hit a one-outer on me. Hit a one outer on the turn. I love his small raise, and then he hits a one outer. Mm. So it's called a pink moon, not because it's actually pink, but because it um, correlates with the blossoming of pink moss flowers in the northern hemisphere. But... Seems kind of stupid. So, but why are they saying look at the pink moon if it doesn't change the way it looks? Nobody's, I mean, nothing I saw said no Oh, movie. I thought you were saying like. Oh, yeah, I see what you're saying. You know what I mean? I just started seeing things saying pink moon and Libra. Pink moon and Libra. Oh, is it pink? <laughs> it's really? I mean, 
lead into the razor. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, getting three bet all over the place. Set over set it a guy when I had aces and he had eights. It was ace eight three. So I led the flop, he raised. I just called it eight on the turn. He made quads and we got all the money in. Kind of shitty. Easy, it's going to be to get that seat. Shit. This is, yeah, I should have gotten it in. Because I don't know what Shaggy's doing, but this shit just makes no sense. I mean, he could definitely have aces here, but this just makes zero fucking sense to do. I mean, he's doing a lot of this shit. I have to let the eight go. <clears throat> and if he rolls ace queen, I'm gonna puke. Could I fold it to him that other hand? This is just to try to get... Wow. <laughs> what the fuck? I just ran kings and aces. Jesus. This is not uh, starting out well. <laughs> I even made the overbet so that, the, so that I'm going to get called by any pair in weaker hands and he just rolls aces. <sighs> That's annoying. I 
got jammed on. All right, he's got jacks. Hold. Every other best hand held against me. How about this one? Yay! Best hand held on the smallest table. <laughs> sweet. I mean, if this fucker has king-queen now that I've checked, yeah. It's just the worst run out. It just kills all my action. Okay. This table got screwed. What the fuck? Why am I getting timed out? God damn. was able to sit down at it. Nice. I think 350s is enough for now. fucking table. This isn't really bad here. The lead out's pretty bad. Let's see, do I want this table to replace one of these other ones? I don't think I do, not yet.
chat. Back to flesh. It's kind of a good turn for me to barrel, but because of the third player, I'm not going to. Uh, I didn't know what the hell he was doing. advisable but I don't mind that through that too much it just depends on the player I can't believe this is gonna fucking die This one back occasionally. I think I want him to make the statement of whether or not he actually has a pair. <clears throat> this two street bluff is kind of hard to pull off. Because sometimes he's just going to have like a pair of tens here and it's going to be very hard for him to get away. I mean, I think if he has queens, it's just kind of a snap call. I, I, I don't really see. Yeah, I, I'm kind of representing a set of jacks or aces. Like, really. Well, I made the straight over here. Doubt I'm going to get any action. Um, three bet. Call here. Call and a call. Awesome flop for that. The double over call. <coughs> There's a long pause and a check. There's no bet on the turn we can bet. Nope, there it is. I check this river. I'm expecting to get bluffed sometimes. Wow, he actually had two pair and just played it that soft. Dude. That I don't get. Oh, I didn't see the raise. It's whatever. I don't understand the overcalls. Which means the guy probably hit a set. thought I should just rip that ace king. Oh, I'm not going to get a bluff past Serge, so I'm just going to check. He's not going to fold to me anymore tonight after this one. It's just kind of the way he is. 
I got some showdown value on the end. Hey, hey. That one maybe he would have folded. Maybe. Thanks. King's not great, but Shaggy's kind of overactive. I think we try to make it look bluffy. I don't think he has very much. He might even check raise me here with nothing. Do you really ever have a king here? I'm kind of curious. We have pocket ace four. Whoa. I said he was getting out of line. I um, guess we just bet here. I'm trying to tell the story that I'm full of crap, and that's kind of the worst bet in the deck. Ten's not great, but I'm going to continue betting. It's really only the ace queen that we have a problem with. Now we don't have a problem with anything. And I think we're going to go again because we're trying to get called by king queen. I can't believe that that ace killed my action. <laughs> we have like king ten or something. Guess this table's done. Oh, aces for the third time. Maybe they'll work out better for once. Well, that's a pretty good flop. So I'm just going to bet micro. I expect to get raised a lot. Go ahead and beat it, man. You got two bucks. You flopped it. <laughs> hey, I sucked out. I mean, come on, the guy's... <laughs> 50 big blind stack playing 6 7 suited. What the fuck? That flop doesn't get much better than that for me. He's been trying to go broke for a while. Was that the same motherfucker sitting there? It is. Oh, so he's one of those. So he's only reloading when it's full or or when he's totally busted and then he goes down to nothing. Yeah, this table's done. This one, nope. Let's check the Spectre Facts. Probably gonna have to just fold this one. You can have it. It's just his wheelhouse. Fold that one. Uh, ooh, that's the seat. hard to make these tables the right size with the Windows 11 fucking rounded corners I guess this can go there we can bet that uh, well we can definitely bet twice he shouldn't have a ton of aces he should have more draws sometimes we get caught up when he has like queen jack or something but until he tells me he's got something better, I'm going to believe he's on a draw. A lot of draws and two pairs just got there, so we're just going to check back. Yeah, he's got a flush draw. We win. 
makes sense, and he's not going to call any river bets, so I don't think I'm missing any value there. card for him and he didn't take it. Ace nine. Yeah, because he had a little showdown. Can we just bet here? Ace of hearts. We're going to keep betting until we're told not to. That's fine. I don't know what you're calling on that flop that you're folding the turn when the heart comes off. But it doesn't matter. I didn't see the double paired board. I wouldn't have called this. This player did open pretty big from under the gun. Ooh, that's a pretty good flop. I'm going to check this back. Bet this turn. Not going to call that. That's kind of trappy. Ace Queen. Interesting. Just bet, you fucking loser. Like, we all know you're sitting there with the fucking full house. That three of diamonds is such a key card, and just followed by garbage. Couldn't get a king of diamonds out there on the flop. I'd still be in this thing. That's a ridiculous card on the river. Because there are so many queens in there. fucking slower well, as a matter of fact fuck this table I'm sitting here waiting five minutes for one hand to go by I'm not going to play it shorthanded that's for sure That can be good sometimes. Jack high good. Jack high good. Love that diamond. I don't understand what this guy is doing. Pocket eights? How am I missing value here against this fucking guy? Like, no protection, no test, no nothing? 
Okay, this is going to click call three times. I guess I should be betting against them. But how do I bet that river? It's one of those ones I hate doing it from the small blind, but that monotone flop is just so applicable. Like, it's so the only bet I can really make there convincingly. But it's fucking brutal because it's like making us, because it's not going to work. If it doesn't work on the flop, it's not going to work on the turn and river. So you just have to time it right and make sure the sizing is absolutely correct. those weird ones he has to be able to sit there and go this flop is super bad for me and I don't want to pull a move because this bet looks like it has something invested well, I'm going to overcall because everybody else is overcalling and fives is probably my minimum I'd like to have you know sixes or sevens but fives is kind of my minimum flop in a set I mean he's taking a while and there are queens out there but I'm just gonna call. I'm I'm playing sets like jokers today. This is kind of interesting. This should get a big bet. Uh, I think. Let's let's go for it. I mean, if I'm caught, I'm caught. All right, that's fine. I just don't think there's any real bet we can make there. Like we're trying to get called by. Uh, you know, king queen that thinks we're full of crap, but I don't think betting half pot makes a difference. Free card's fine. Ace is okay. It's actually not my favorite card, but I'm going to go ahead and bet. Only because Coach is so short, he can jam a lot of hands. Ten on the river? Uh, I don't think we can. Yeah, he's just going to have an ace. Can't make two pair in the river? I don't know what the fuck took him so long. I think this table's done. This one's done. So give me this one. I 
think because of the diamonds we have to call, we may get a free river. Aces again. I think over raising is kind of the move here. I mean, if he has kings, I'm going to fucking puke. But we're just going to keep uh, betting. Sometimes he has ace, king, of diamonds here. Or no, he can't. He can have the ace, king, and just go nuts. <clears throat> I'm not folding, but I don't think he'll call three streets with just ace, king. Ah! If he had ace, king, I'm going to throw up. I, I can't imagine. Ah, God, he did. Wow. How didn't he bet? I guess I should have just jammed it, right? Should have taken my time and jammed it. That's a tough one. I don't know about that. Because there's no club draws out there. Because I have the Ace of Clubs and the Ace of Diamonds. If I had the the if I didn't have the Ace of Clubs, I think I would have power bombed it. But he's just got the raw Ace King. He kind of paid me too much. <laughs> but I guess I should have jammed it. Well, we can double on the 50 and get off of it. That's nice. <clears throat> hey, profit territory. There's four of us in here, but it is a limp pot, so it's going to be hard to get any action. I'm just going to bet big on the turn, and hopefully a queen calls. Going to bet small here. Ace on the river is kind of good. I mean, can Soge have a lot of jacks? Not sure. He should be worried about me having the flush, but if he has a 10, obviously he's not worried about shit. Yeah, you got it, bro. That's a nice steal. That's that's one that can fly under the radar because the player was coming out of an earlier, you know, out of the gun plus two. So when you just see a call here, it's because it was the min open. It kind of makes that bet better. to stay on this table no I think we want to get off of it I guess this handle determine it spin just calling that small It clicked back. He should have a lot of queen jacks. He shouldn't have too many uh, draws other than that. So he did that to buy the river. So he can have it. That's fine. That's annoying. I mean, I guess I'll stay here. I guess that's kind of annoying. The the min the min raise is uh, see I should have three bet because I know that that's just so he can draw. I know that that's just so he can draw. And then he bets at the ace on the end. I mean, it's just queen jack all day. Like, there's no other hand. Like, you're not even betting two pair there. Set of fives again. I'm trying to get check raised here. Which, with this board texture, there's a lot of weird opens that want to check raise. 6-7 and 10-jack. 
flush draws everywhere. Ugh, bad card. Made the flush. Uh, I thought he'd bet again. Although I really can't lead on a paired board. I'll check this one. Canix can have it. Pocket sevens. That's funny. He had 10 8, so yeah, I can't really bet there. Just going to call the ace king and play it fairly blindly. So you can have pocket eights sometimes and even pocket aces, but I, whoa, and he overbets? Really? 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 So he's supposed to have pocket aces here is what he's doing. Can he have ace four? I didn't three bet. He's raising out of first. I mean, pocket eights? Sixes. He hit it on the turn. That's why I couldn't see it. That's annoying. How the fuck is this guy just calling with the fucking flush? People aren't even getting value out of their fucking hands. What the fuck is going on? That was annoying. <coughs> and it's like, when he bets like that, it's like, it's just polarized. It's either nuts or nothing, and I should just know that these fucking players don't know how to fucking bluff. But the way I played it, I really can't fold. It's a nice lead out on the river. I guess we just check. I mean, now that the jack's out there. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Just have to bet twice. I mean, the thing is, he can have a 10, so we can get value, but he rarely is going to have an ace there. And if he does, he's going to let me know on the turn. I mean, this is a weird one. I'm just going to call it. I could definitely 3-bet it, but this player is opening from under the gun 1. I mean, it kind of leaves me a little bit blind right here, but... I think we can uh, still figure it out. All right, well, he's checking. And if I had a set, I would bet. So we see traffic betting. I'm just going to call. Uh, I'm definitely well aware he could have a set or just a pair of sevens here. There it is. I didn't raise. I guess I should have 3-bet. I mean, that's just hindsight, I think. You can kind of play it either way. And as sticky as these players are, and I don't know much about this player other than he's got a pretty good stack going. And he's only been there an hour and a half. Fuck. 
fucking that is king's bothering me. I should have folded that one when he overbet. I absolutely should have folded that one. That was a mistake. I mean, he hit a two-outer on the turn. I guess it's not awful. This lead-out is hilarious. I'm just going to call. I actually do have enough equity against it, because this should be just a lot of one pairs and hands like 6-5, six, 7-5. Five, five. <coughs> King of the turn is good for me. So we're going to bet like we have ace-king. Are you fucking kidding me with this fucking guy? Okay. Well, nobody's got anything here, so we have to check. And raise. And call. Set over set. Nice. That's just the only way that that can go down. And I don't know why he's calling on the button with pocket tens there. Mm, no. so funny. I was just thinking, I don't see him making this squeeze. That's the only reason why I called. Nope. Fuck you. God damn it. All the money's gonna go in, too. No. Well, it would've been rough, because I would've check-raised. And interestingly, somebody with the name Scholar is going to have the flush draw that he drew out improperly and just hit it. Ace, queen, ace, king. This is hilarious. God, I would have gotten it all. Is that Sergeant? That was cute. Why am I getting fucking raised here every fucking time I bet small? Okay. bet is kind of whatever. I mean, if he checks the turn, we can bet. Sometimes this guy has a jack, but there's more combos of hands he doesn't have. Yeah, flush draws one of them. Nice. I thought he might have rolled over 10s or something like that, but I think he's going to see bet 10s. Uh, value play. <laughs> what is that? What is a min re-raise? That's a lot of kings. Hey, old, nice. I'm gonna. Call
click them back. I mean, if he has ace king, it's just too bad. Uh, let's get him committed now, though. Ten bucks ought to do her. I mean, that's what we're doing. <coughs> aces, aces are never good there, bro. Bro. Nice min re-raise. What the fuck was that? Like, I wasn't sure what he had, but I sure as fuck knew he didn't have no king. Gives me theoretically outs, but if he has ace queen here, he's gonna bet pretty big. And if he has ace king, he just won it. Yeah. Because the jack's no good. He's gonna check ace king. <clears throat> and the jack's no good for me. And I don't think he's folding the river when an ace comes off. I mean, he should when I just bomb into it, but people just don't do that. It's just kind of a, the way it is. He's folding. Kings are good. Check, check, check. He has a lot of two pairs there. That jack makes a lot of two pairs in straights. He was in the big blind, but he can just have the he can just have the king, which is fine. Uh, let's go ahead and bet here. Pretty reasonably, we want to protect the ten. Really? 
What the fuck is going on here? I mean, he insta... insta-popped it. He's coming out of first. Is this a slow play of Ace's freakout? I think it is. That's weird. Uh. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to three bet for a third of my stack, so I might as well just jam. I think that's fine. I also like doing it because it'll it'll back people off. I just I just don't need to keep getting three bet every fucking hand. I mean, maybe my ranges are a little bit wider than they should be, but not by much. Look at this. Look at this. Like what? I mean, I forget it's the weekend. Means I probably should have called that A7. What the fuck just happened here? So it goes... So the guy with the deuces opens 4x. He gets 3-bet. He 4-bets. Gets jammed over for the full stack and calls it off with deuces. Versus kings. Holy shit. I don't know what the fuck that's even all about. These people need to let some of these limp pots happen. I think it's just so much more value with whatever hand you have, unless you have something like really solid here. There's just so much more value. Like taking these kind of flops. This guy is raising every fucking flop. I, I imagine it's got to be a flush draw. I mean, I guess it can be sixes, but if he bets big here, it can't be, right? He checks. The flush comes off on the river, so... He should have a full. What the fuck is he raising? So he wasn't raising the king. He wasn't raising the six. I don't know what's going on with this, but... Now I feel bad about folding that ace ten. I guess I should have just jammed it on him because he's raising every fucking flop. I mean, that was a limped fucking pot. Like, And then the flush got there and he was... He wasn't happy about it. Okay, this lead on the turn is kind of gross. A7? What the fuck? I don't even know what that is. Why is he leading second pair?
seven four. What is happening tonight? I keep forgetting it's fucking Saturday. Like this is just. It's it's not even. It's not even at all. Any kind of good. I mean, I should be betting it, but when I have so much value, I don't really need to. <clears throat> it's just that the mistake that he makes by betting is fucking hilarious. Because should, he should only be checking. Because only things that beat him are calling, and his diamond should never be good. It's just kind of ridiculous. Really should just be worried about spades, but sometimes he can have a six. Yeah, I think we just check. He had a ten. Huh. Kind of surprised. I'm just going to limp it. I don't limp much in these, so I want to see what happens. Yeah, I felt like that was coming. This is the one where I need to flop the five. Ugh. Now he's just going to win on a standard, standard range play. Sometimes we can win here, but only against like King Queen and like Yeah, no pocket pairs, right? Seven eight. Sometimes That's pretty good. Raise. I mean, him just calling is more of a problem than him raising. I don't know what the fuck this guy's doing. This is kind of very confusing, but he's definitely the spot. I think because it's suited, we want to just call here. I don't know if ace-queen off is a better 3-bet, but I definitely don't want to fold this one. Don't need to go crazy. People are kind of... Hopefully an ace hits and we get it all from ace-king. I am in the blind, so I can have anything. Oh, but he's pounding this. Oh. I mean, it's either... It's aces, kings, or nothing, right? So it's supposed to be... It's supposed to be kings at this point. But I mean, do you really do this with kings? I mean, I guess if you figure me for a flush draw, but I'm in the blind. I can have anything. I don't know here. I think I gotta let it go. I don't. I don't know here. I, I don't 
I'm not aware of the player enough, but I don't think it's... I think he's betting way too quick. <coughs> okay, same guy. Take this flop. I mean, I guess we're going to see if he just keeps pounding through. Yeah, I mean, he just... Okay, so I feel bad about folding the ace-queen now. That is something right there. And there shouldn't be a lot of aces, so he should keep betting that king turn. That's a raise under the gun, but I'm still going to 3-bet because there's just no way to not get 3-bet tonight. So, I have to bet. Like, I have to raise. If I don't raise, somebody else will. And they'll... Yeah, the contexts are wide. Yeah, yeah. Jack. Really? 